Hello, I'm Runya, aka Media Adaptation, and welcome back to Moderation's 12 Days of Christmas. Yeah, it's kind of been a bit all over the place, but we'll try our best, given how IRL has been. So, anyway, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at another set of two sentence horror. So, I'm gathered from a comment section as well as the Reddit. If you're not familiar with this concept, it's basically trying to boil down a story to its bare essentials and have it still be scary or funny or maybe a little bit of both. Anyway, let's take a look at them. During the investigation, I asked him why he murdered his family, but all he said that the voices had been telling him to do so. It was when I replayed our conversation, at that point where no one was talking, that I could hear them too. I was driving back home late one night, as I spotted a hitchhiker on the side of the road. I knew it was risky picking him up, but I did it anyway. I thought just one more bite couldn't hurt. I opened a fortune cookie today. The message contained my full name and current address. Through the window, I watched the lights blink out until there was only darkness. What the hell is going on down there? I asked, but Houston didn't respond. My third wish was for my dad to come back to life. I love visiting his grave and listening to his screams as he tries to escape. You've been a naughty boy. I've checked the list twice. Grinned Santa standing at the end of the bed with a shotgun. I framed the first letter I got as a police officer from a woman thanking me after I supported her through her daughter's suicide. I passed by that hallway every day for nearly eight years, before realizing that the handwriting was the same on the girl's suicide note. Day 52, recording. Oxygen preservation will last me only one more day. Goodbye, everyone. Day 175, recording. Can't. Die. Every morning, I have a new face. Whoever keeps leaving these on my bed, please stop. I jumped in and tried to stop the drunken fight as I didn't want anyone's head hitting a rock. In the heat of the action, no one noticed the canary's silence. When I planted a tree, I'd imagine playing underneath it with my kids, not seeing one of them swinging from it. The bodies of the seven hitchhikers were found the next day. Their limbs, torso, and heads neatly severed, forming a circle around the campfire. The autopsy stumped everyone when it revealed that they had done it to themselves. The first ten people to the finish line will advance to the next round, and all others will be killed. Knowing what the next round consists of, no one moved an inch. I was careful not to make a sound, so that my kidnappers wouldn't find me. The efforts went to waste, however, as my phone lit up with my amber alert. The last thing I remember is touching a mirror and passing out. Was I always left-handed? When I saw it, my heart stopped. Unfortunately, my heart ceasing to beat didn't kill me fast enough to spare me from it. He was lovable, kind, and apologetic, so everyone, including the wall, deemed that the fatal hit and run was simply just a freak accident. As he gathered his reindeer from the back of the courtroom, Santa smiled, for no one had discovered the truth. As I sat watching the crowd, coffee in hand, I was suddenly struck by the beauty of a girl walking by. The papers will report her name, but the history books will tell mine. The hunter sat in the tree stand, looking through the scope of his rifle at a two-point buck. As it continued to devour his hunting dogs, unbothered by the bullet-shaped hole through its skull. Jack and Jill went up the hill to bury dear old mother. But when Jill came down, she made no sound about her missing brother. And that about does it for this video. Again, we don't really have a theme of what we're doing, so if you really want us to try to cover something this season, 
please put down in the comments below. We are still backlogging trying to get some of our webcomics and some of our other reviews. And if time still slips by, those might still have to get pushed back. But anyway, thanks for sticking with us, even if we've only really been doing some holiday stuff. But ah, anyway, hope to see you guys in the next one. Anyway, I'm Runya, and I take life in moderation.